Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and guys, I'm back with another video on engineering drawing and again, it's a video for all the aspirants of engineering services examination. The topic that we are going to talk about, rather discuss today is projection of points. Now, before really getting started with all the objective problems that I have lined up for you all, I would suggest all of you to go ahead and watch my video on orthographic projection and projection of point. Once you see that, all these 14 to 15 problems are going to become very very easy it's going to be a piece of cake okay now these are the weapons which i'm going to be using to solve all the upcoming problems let me explain all these one by one it's very simple very briefly let me go take you through weapon one hd h is the distance of a point above or below hp and d is the distance of the point in front or behind the vp that's all remember this with h you associate a front view and with front view you always see a dash let's say if you have a point say a its front view will be a dash okay and the dimension with which you will see that a dash is h secondly if you have any dimension d that means in front or behind the vp it will always be associated with the top view and that is no dash simple things simple stuff remember these and you will find yourself in a much better position to solve the problems. It's going to get very, very easy. And finally, this is the most important logic. This is rather the crux, the entire summarization of a projection of a point in all the four uh, distinct quadrants. So one, two, three, four. Remember, H above D below, first quadrant, H and D both above the XY line, second quadrant, D above and H below, exactly opposite, third quadrant and H and D both of them below in the fourth quarter. Always associate front view with a dash. Okay. Front view with a dash. Front view with a dash and somewhere here front view with a dash this way and no dash with the top view. For example here no dash top view. No dash top view and so on. Now let us start with problem number one and here it is on your screen. Um, let me read that for you. This is going to be very simple. The line joining the front and top view of a point is called. So, what do you call this line? This is the front view of a point A, A dash and this is the top view. Joining front view and top view we have a line and this line is referred to as projector. So, the correct option is option B. Done. Problem number 2. Well, it goes like this. A point P is in the HP. Its top view is above the XY line. It's very simple. So, there is a point. Okay. That point is lying in the horizontal plane. Now, if it is lying in the horizontal plane, then H is equal to 0. Okay. If H is 0, then its front view will be right here along the XY line. That means this is, let's say the name of the point is A, then this has got to be A dash. And one more thing which has been given to us is that the top view is above the XY line. How high is the top view above the XY line? Well, that has not been given. But this is the top view at a certain height. We don't want to know what that height is. So this is the top view, no dash. Simply write it. Now what has been asked to us? Its front view will be, where is the front view line? On the XY line, on the XY line. So the correct option is, option A, on the XY line. Take mark. Okay, moving on. So the third, third problem is slightly associated with civil engineering. And civil engineering guys will be in a much better position to solve this. So there are two terms, elevation and plan. And first of all, let me make you familiar with what elevation is and what plan is. So let me just write it over here. Elevation is nothing but the front view. Elevation is the front view. Whereas plan is the top view. This is a civil engineering term, this is a mechanical engineering term you can say. Okay, so elevation refers to the front view and plan refers to the top view. So here we go. A point whose elevation and plan are above XY line is situated in. So let me just draw an XY line, something like this. Its plan and elevation, but that means its front and top views both are above the XY line. XY line and both front and top view are above the XY line. So it is a case of second quadrant. So that is the right option. And that is precisely option B. So make a tick. Done. Very easy. Then problem number four. Well, it goes like this. A point whose elevation is above XY line 
may be situated in okay okay so this will do the job for us elevation is above the xy line that means it's somewhere here elevation is the front view let's say it's a dash okay and elevation is above the xy line if this is a dash then this dimension over here has got to be always remember this is a dash dash means a front view and front view means h so this dimension is h we are not interested in the numerical value of h let us read this once again a point whose front view is above xy line may be situated in well h is above h is above in the first quadrant h is above in the second quadrant so both the cases are perfect both the options are right but there is one more option that is vertical plane and let me tell you why the reason being very very obvious it's it's something like this if you watch here you just make a vertical plane and uh, yeah pretty good and let me extend this in the backward direction okay so we've got a point over here and if you take the front view let's say we are taking a look at that point from over here so it's let's call this as point a this is going to be a dash so this point is lying in the first quadrant if let's say that the point lies in the second quadrant let's say over here and we are viewing it from here then this vp has to be made transparent in such a case its projection will be somewhere here let's say this is point b and the projection is over here that is let's say it's going to be b dash so in both the cases you clearly see this is the xy line and the elevation that is the front view in both the cases is above the xy line so this is true if a point is situated in first quadrant its elevation or front view is above the xy line if the point is situated in the second quadrant still the front view or elevation will be above the xy line but there is one more case if the point let's say is lying over here okay here that is in the vp there also let's say this point is c its front view will be right here small c dash so option a is also correct option b is also correct and option c is also correct so collectively you can say that all the options are correct so any of these that's the right option okay or the most appropriate option what is the option option d any of these that's right yeah okay now let us talk about question number 5 and it goes like this okay a point is 20 mm below the hp and 30 mm behind the vp okay 20 mm below the hp well any distance associated with hp is h so h is equal to how much 20 mm and the point is 30 mm behind the vp so this is 30 mm which has been given to us now based on this 20 mm below so below hp there are two options either it could be third quadrant or fourth quadrant now let us go ahead and read whether the point is in front of vp if it is in front it's fourth quadrant if it is behind vp then it is third quadrant it's clear and 30 mm behind the vp it's a clear cut case of a point being situated in the third quadrant okay so that's the option that we do have now if i were to make the projection of this particular case it would be something like this please watch let me have the xy line okay third quadrant d above h below third quadrant d above h below d above okay something like this 30 above 30 that is d and 20 below that is h with h you need to put a dash name of the point let's say is a so with h you need to put a dash with d you don't need to put a dash what have we been asked is the top view the top view will be the top view will be 20 mm no 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 the top view is here this is the top view this rather is the front view because this has a dash so the top view is 30 mm above the xy line so do we have an option like that yes we do have option d 30 mm 
30 mm above the xy line 30 mm above the xy line. that's the right option okay so this is how you can actually interpret all the problems now moving on problem number sixth if the front view of a point is 50 mm above the xy line and the top view is 20 mm a lot of stuff has been written now let me get rid of this okay okay let me make an xy line things will get easier now okay like this right so if the front view of a point is 50 mm above the xy line above the xy line okay here yeah. this is the front view of a point if it is the front view it is a dash let me just write here front view how high this is 50 mm fine what else and the top view is 20 mm below the front view this is the front view and the top view is below how much below 20 mm below let's say this distance is 20 mm then the, this distance over here has got to be 30 mm okay this is the top view simply put a over here both of them front and top view this right here is nothing but the top view both front and top view are above the xy line above the xy line it's a clear cut case of a point being situated in the second quadrant so option b that that's right second angle projection that's it okay so prop six problems done let us let us start with problem number seven okay it's this is also fairly simple let me just read this if the if both the front and top views of a point here it is written if both the front and top view of a point lie on the opposite side of the reference line the point may be situated in the following angles now if the front view is above the top view is below and if the top view is above the front view is below what are the options that we have take a look at this case front view is above and top view is below and here the top view is above and front view is below so it could be first angle projection it could be third angle projection okay both the options are absolutely correct so do we have an option like that yes we do have and that is option b one oblique three that's the right option done seventh problem done very easy problem eighth okay let's see what this has got if both the front and top views of a point lie on the same side of the reference line both front and top view that means dash and non dash that means h and d both of them lie either above the xy line both of them or below the xy line then the point may be situated in the following angles take a look here both front and top views both h and d are above the xy line and here in fourth quadrant both h and d both front and top views are lying below the xy line so the options are it could either be second quadrant it could either be fourth quadrant both of them are correct second angle or fourth angle both of them are correct so do we have an option like that yes option c second and fourth very easy eight problems done okay isn't it ninth if the top view of a point is situated 60 mm below the reference line let me just draw this top view top view of a point is 60 mm below somewhere here this is the top view let's say it's a this is how much this is 60 this is the top view okay let me just write here top view all right top view is 60 mm below the reference line and its front view is 20 mm above the top view from here this is the top view 20 mm above the top view somewhere here a distance between this point and this point is 20 then if you try to measure its distance from xy line this is what to be 40 now this is the top view on the top view, this is rather the front view, I guess. Let me read this once again. If the top view of a point is situated 60 mm below, 60 mm below, that's the top view, below the reference line, and its front view is 20 mm above the top view. This is the front view, and this is 20. Okay, this is 20 millimeters. So the front view, this over here, is 20 mm above the top view. Then the point lies in. Okay, this is a fairly simple case. Both this is the front view 
and top view both of them front and top front and top both are lying below the x y line it's a clear cut case of a point being situated in the fourth quadrant isn't it easy very easy okay so the correct option is well it's option d fourth angle very easy 10th problem okay if the front view of a point is 40 mm above the xy okay so we've got the front view of a point something like this so this is the front view of a point let's say point a if this is the front view this has got to be accompanied with a dash front view how high well this is uh, 40 mm above the xy line that's 40 fine and the top view is 50 mm below the xy top view is 50 mm below somewhere here let's say so this is the top view and uh, no dash now this is the top view top view dimension d this is dimension d this is the front view this is dimension h h above and d below h above and d below what are we supposed to work out the position of the point is take a look at this first option first option says 40 mm above the hp yeah h above and d below h above and d below quadrant 1 so in quadrant 1 what happens is where shall i write in quadrant 1 h above hp and d in front of vp right that's it so h above hp how much above h is equal to this is 40 and d in front of vp that is 50 d is equal to well that's 50 so this is the right option Op <laughs> we are very fortunate enough that option a is the correct option so 40 mm above the hp okay 40 mm above the hp that's correct okay so in totality we have done 10 problems now let us take a look at problem 11 state the position of a point the front view of which lies on the reference line the front view is lying right here let me just show you the front view is lying here okay on the reference line a dash and that's the front view okay now 40 mm uh, no, no 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 state the position of a point the front view of which lies on the reference line fine and the top view is 40 mm above it so this is the top view okay that's a this distance is 40 mm right okay okay we need to state the position of the point now first of all guys you need to identify where in which quadrant this point is lying so one thing which we can work out let me just write this with a red color for this particular case h is equal to 0 okay with a dash now h is always associated with the front view and with a dash so you can clearly see it is neither up xy or neither below the xy line so h is equal to how much zero that's quite obvious and the value of d which we've got is how much that's 40 just think about this this is d in which of the following options 1 to 3 and 4 where do you get to see the dimension d above the xy line here the dimension d is above xy line so this could be the right option here also the uh, d is above the xy line so this could also be the right option second and third second and third okay let me just read this h is equal to 0 that means the point is in the hp it is neither above nor below hp rather it is in the hp that means h is equal to 0 okay so the point is what we can write is it is in the hp and since it is a case of either second and third quadrant the point doesn't matter if it is in the second quadrant or in the third quadrant in both the cases the point will be behind the vp and how much behind the vp 40 mm behind the vp so this is how you need to state the position and 40 mm behind the vp okay so this is basically the way how you need to write the position of any point so do we have an option like this do we have a description like this 
प्लीज गो थ्रू डिस्क्रिप्शन इन ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एम एम बिहाइंड वीपी फोर्टी एम एम बिहाइंड वीपी एंड इन दी एचपी और ऑन दी एचपी राइट ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन डन ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व ओके कैन वी सॉल्व इट हियर यस वी कैन देर इज स्टिल सम स्पेस now it goes like this state the position of a point the top view of which lies on the reference line now previously the front view was lying on the reference line so h was zero in this particular case the top view will lie on xy line if the top view lies on xy line that means the distance of point from vp just think about this if the top view lies on xy line the distance of point from the vp will be equal to zero okay anyway let me crack this top view is lying on the xy line okay so is the top view simply write a that's the top view okay and front view is 30 mm below it this is the front view if this is the front view that has to be accompanied with a dash and that's the front view and this over here how much below we just see this 30 mm below okay so this is a dash this dimension dash dimension is h so that's h okay and if if i were to say what is d well we can work it out we can work it out d is equal to 0 and h is equal to 30 so guys just take a look at this let me let me explain you all of this once again h is below the xy line okay one thing is for sure h is below so these two options are correct either it could be third or fourth quadrant now the value of d we know is how much it's zero the value of h is 30 so you, what you can you can conclude is that the point is in the vp and and since it is in the third quadrant or in the fourth quadrant what you can say is 30 mm how much below third quadrant point is always below what below the horizontal view so do we have a description something like this in any of the options let me go through them if you just go through option c you will read 30 mm below hp 30 mm below hp and on the vp or in the vp so this is the right option option c is correct tick mark it done okay so two problems are left 13th and 14th let me rub all of this stuff so this is the problem in front of us and it says which of the following statements are correct statement 1 if a point is in vp top view is seen on xy seems to be true let me tell you why if a point is in vp okay statement 1 let's see okay something like this okay that's vertical plane and that's horizontal plane let's say the point is here right and if the point is here let's call this point let's say a when you see it from over here the top view of this point is coinciding with this x y line isn't it so that's the top view simply write a over here isn't it that's the top view top view that's right so the statement one well it's absolutely correct fine moving on statement two if a point is in the hp its side view will be on xy yes that's true let me tell you why <coughs> so there is a point which entirely lies in the horizontal plane so let me make it here only let's say there is a point over here let's see here right and let's call this point let's say point b okay so when you try to view this point so 
So this is the front view. You can simply write what. Let's write this as B dash. Its top view is going to be right here. So you can just write B. And when you have to side view, it's going to be somewhere here. B double dash, isn't it? Now, this, my friends, is the profile plane, and this is the plane where you obtain the side view. Okay. So this is the profile plane where we will be obtaining the left hand side view to be very precise. Now, what we need to do is we need to rotate. Again, this is the rotation protocol which I have already explained in my previous video. I would suggest you all to go ahead and watch that video. HP by 90 degree clockwise and PP by 90 degree anti-clockwise. When you do that, when you do that, we will have a picture something like this. Let me show that. It's, it's very elementary. Okay. This is a very rough estimate. So you will have all the three planes. Um, this is VP. This is PP and this right here is HP. For point B, this is going to be B dash somewhere here and some distance below. This is going to be B <coughs> and this point over here, this point. Okay. When you open it up, it will be an absolutely straight line, isn't it? This, this 90 degree angle will absolutely flatten up, flatten up like this. This is got to be B double dash. This over here, this is the XY reference line guys, remember? So if a point is in the HP, its side view lies on the XY line, that's true. Okay, so statement 2, well, this is also true, both these statements are correct. So do we have an option like that? Let me read, yeah, option C, 1 and 2, both these statements are correct, fine, no issue. Okay, one more thing which I need to tell you. This line right here, most of the textbooks you will see, this is the x1, y1 line. This is xy reference line, very basic. This is x1, y1. Okay. Moving on towards the last problem. And here we go. If side view of a point is seen on x1, y1, the point lies on. Side view. Okay. If this side view is seen on x1, y1, let's say if this point b double dash. If this were to lie over here along x1, y1, what would you say then? Where is the point actually lying? Let me explain you once again. If the side view of a point, okay, let's say this was the side view at some distance from here. Okay. Now, if if this B double dash, this side view was obtained along this line, x1, y1 line, in that case, the point would have been lying entirely on the BP. I'll tell you why. And it's, it's something like this. Let's say we have a point over here. Let's say the name of point is P. Okay. So when you take and look at this point from over here, from the side. Right. Its side view will be right here. P. This has got to be, let me write this properly. This has got to be P double dash. Isn't it? So this line is this line. In that case, this P double dash will be somewhere so obviously, if if you have got the side view along this x1, y1, then the point definitely lies on the vertical plane. So the right option is option B and that's it. That's it. So guys, that was all for today. I will come up with more problems based on projection of lines and that is going to be my next video. I will try to upload as many as four videos in this week, Okay, starting off uh, with today, that is Monday. So that was all for today. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.